Hi, in this video we create the leading edge bow. So, let's see how we go about it. Okay then, so the plan has been cut, it's, uh, so it fits on my bench and I've got a load of uh, blocks ready to go. So the task now is to uh, set the blocks up around the perimeter and I'm going to hold them in with uh, drywall screws straight into my workbench. So uh, we'll go to a bit of time lapse from now. Uh, just a quick look, I'll just put the blocks all the way around the edge. So that we've got something to attach the boat. So here I am, I've uh, dry fitted the strips all together at the moment just to make sure it would all conform and I've uh, got this end here and at the other end you can sort of see there's quite a chunk of excess and that's how I can tighten up the joints but I've made sure that the joints I just get rid of that the joints are staggered between laminations uh, by by a fair amount so that uh, you know we don't have a line of failure uh, because the strips aren't long enough to go around all in one go. So I'm just going to uh, square up the uh, the ends. I don't know if, uh, if that sort of shows on the camera, but it's quite a rough uh, sawn end. Uh, so I'm just going to square that up. So we've got a nice joint for when we're doing the lamination. So I'm just going to literally just take off that very, very end, just, in, just doing it with a, a razor saw. Put the plastic sheets out of the way. And then uh, it's a very gentle deeper to get that sorted and then uh, I'll do that all the way through I've marked these up for their relevant positions uh, so join you shortly after I've done that to all the others so resin mixed up this is the first strip I'm just going to put some uh, epoxy in the joint it's taped to hold it together Probably won't work that. Uh, I'm just going to have to rely. I'll take that tape out there. And we're going to just bow that into position. This is the first one which is uh, going to sit out to one side. I'll now apply epoxy to, to the others. I only apply epoxy to one face. There is a reason uh, behind only applying it to one face and that is it helps to expel air when you, when you put it together. And if we have too much epoxy in, in other words you've got it on two faces, it's very hard for a wide strip 
narrow which has got a low point pressure to expel excess resin. So there's two good reasons for only applying epoxy to one side. Right then, I'm just going to uh, unclamp this lot, it should all be dry now. Uh, I'm just going to unclamp it, release it so that it can actually settle and it'll be reclamped again uh, in its new settled position after I've sanded the, uh, the top areas and the bottom areas of the laminate to get it flat. Uh, and then we'll uh, be able to start putting in the rest of the bits and pieces. So, let's see what we've got to start off with. There we have one bow. You see it's quite a bit of resin underneath, so I'm going to sand that off. But this is now relaxed and it's really quite stiff. I'll put it back into its uh, position. And that's all ready to go. It's now, now relaxed. Here is the leading edge, just clamped lightly in position. I've sanded the uh, resin 
excess resin off the top and bottom. There's still a very thin layer of resin in some areas. I've just gone down to touching the wood, um, keeping it dead flat. Uh, the, where where the wood where a strip has been very slightly narrower, there's just a sort of a very thin layer of resin, but it's now all dead flat uh, along the top. Uh, I'm just going to show you. Hopefully, I can. Uh, Get in close up and show you the uh, steps I use in the lamination. So I'm not sure how this sort of shows up, but uh, there is one step rare. There's one over there, one there, and one there. Now the requirements from my old training handbooks uh, for steps in laminations is that in consecutive lamination so if, if I had a, a cut in this one here it would have to be 15 times the thickness of a lamination to that joint however if it's a separated by a laminate so you're going alternate ones it only needs to be eight times the thickness of a lamination well that's more than eight and then there's a gap and that one's definitely way more than eight and then from there to there is more than eight. So that's the sort of requirements. But if it's in consecutive laminations, I said it should be 15. So that's a bit like a, a sort of a, a, a shallow scarf joint. So that's that one. Hopefully that showed up. And on this side where the other joints are, there's one there, miss a, miss a lamination. That one there, more than eight by a long way, gap, one there more than eight and, and then the very leading edge one the joint is in the focus the joint is in the center just there and you can possibly just see if I get this out of the way you can just see underneath the resin I hope uh, all the different little lines where I, I'd actually drawn a datum line for when I was clamping it and it's still and actually have to think of the resin I haven't sent it the uh, pencil lines off. But it shows really how f how um, good the wood is for its uh, thickness, that, how well they machined it. Okay, so that concludes the uh, tail playing leading edge video. So next time up we're going to be fitting hopefully the, uh, the spar into place uh, and a couple of other bits and pieces. We'll see how well we get on. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. You can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos. Any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.